Hi, Denise from photosbydenise.com. I'm here to talk to you about my background. So I'm at a on location job and I'm setting up my background. And I just wanted to talk to you about a little hints, a couple of hints that I've done for the background. This is a, a background stand, okay? And <clears throat> what I did was I told you earlier about um, some clips that I have. And this is what I get to help me out with my background. These are great. You don't find them very often, but it's a bungee cord with a bunch of clips. What I've done is I put the bungee cord at the top and I've brought it all the way down. The problem with these backgrounds is you can never get them actually smooth enough and you have to end up doing a lot of retouching. So what I've done was I actually made a piece of wood, a little piece of wood on the side, and I stapled it to the background so that it's a little bit more secure. And that way I just put a pin up here on the side, which is a clip. I always bring all my own ladders and everything in case I don't want to ask for anything. I just had to uh, go out to my vehicle and pick up my extension cord. I'd rather just set up my studio one location and bring everything. So I always bring a lot of extra stuff. So I have my, I think they call it an alligator clip up here at the top. And then I have these clips down the bottom, okay, and those are all nice and tight. So that starts this side. I like this background stand because it also has uh, these additional pieces which I can put a second background um, railing on it so I could have two different backgrounds on it. And um, this background stand is again I've been in business for over 30 years so a lot of my things are um, elderly <laughs> and so but I that's why I bought it was because it had the extra uh, availability to have a second background going across so now I have the piece of wood that is nice and sturdy it just makes a huge difference and when I keep it in the studio it's, you know, I just pull it over and it hangs like that. And so I'm just going to put these clips up here and then down the bottom. And be careful because you don't want to have the bungee cord explode on you and come back at you. So always be careful and now take me a minute to be careful. I think that should be okay. And then I just take it and I pull it nice and tight, clip it, pull it nice and tight, clip it, and I'll do that all the way down. And then what I'll do is I'll take a steamer and I'll steam all the wrinkles out. This just makes a big difference for when you are finished with the portrait, you don't have to retouch the background. And um, that's the story on my background. So just to give you a couple little hints. All right. And you also bring a lot of, I think they call them alligator clips, because I'll probably put one right up in there and one right up in there, and we'll be all set. Great. How to set up my background. Thank you.